everyone, this is Jozef Notch here and welcome back to my Linux Pro playlist in the second video in this playlist where I want to show you how you can start applications in the terminal and also how mo most important how you can stop processes if they crash. Okay, so we will take a look at the commands that you see here and so with that let's get started. So again you have just, I show you here the desktop and what I want to now start with, I want to click here into, onto the terminal or you can just press Control alt t and now terminal is being opened and now let's start. As an example I want to show you, I want to start now Firefox, of course I could just click here and then open up Firefox but you can type in Firefox and press enter and this will now start the Firefox and I could just now start and, um, and then check out the internet but as you see here then my terminal is blocked, I cannot do anything. Now what to do in this <clears throat> instance of uh, because Firefox is now hogging the terminal. I could open up a second terminal but I want to stop Firefox. So what I can do I can press now Control C. As you see then Firefox disappeared and I got back my um, terminal. Another possibility is by which sometimes work is pre pressing if I go back, Control Z, and now Firefox is in the background. It was not killed, uh, but actually we want to now get rid of Firefox. Yes, force quit. So this is not uh, not, not always working. But what is always working? Uh, going up in the cursor key, Firefox space, and then this sign here. And if I press now. So this is what you also called the end sign, so salt and pepper, enter, Firefox, and now Firefox started and it is running in the background. So now I can just type in and then go along. So very good. So at this we became, uh, so we have now a program running and we have the terminal available for us. Now I want to stop this application in the background so if you are you are having uh, your own code or someone else's code which crashed so what do you do how can you stop this now you first you have to find out the identification number of that application in Linux and this works in all Linux distributions and I really like two ways to find that out one is the so-called top command if I type in top, now we have a live updated version of the, proce of the processes which are running in the background and as you see here Firefox is jumping around and you see the CPU usage, then the memory which is being used and okay so, um, so if you, uh, Firefox is not using a lot so this is, the, and here you see PID, this is the process identification and now you can get out of this by pressing Q or you can also uh, um, use Control C which uh, works in most applications. Another, but, but, so this is a live update of your processes. Uh, if you want a snapshot you can type in PS space and AUX and now you have a lot of crap going on here. here. So there are a lot of processes going um, mostly by the system, by the root uh, user here and there are a couple by myself. So I like another version of this, the PSVUX because this does not puts out all the root commands. Okay, so this is only which my user uh, is using and here you see now the Firefox 
command has the uh, process ID. Uh, if I, I have to go up, so the PID, the process ID, number 3643. So we have to memorize this. And now I want to stop uh, Firefox in the background. And the command is kill and then minus nine. And uh, so kill minus nine is the command. And then just type in the process ID 3643, enter. And as you see, Firefox was killed and it is not running in the background anymore. Okay. And if you have the same problem with your code, with your program or any application in Linux, which is running, you can type in top or PS and I really like uh, v, uh, VUX, some uh, other people like AUX and find out the process ID and then kill minus nine and then the process ID enter and it is gone forever. But take care of this if some, something is running and actually and it seems to be stuck or crashed, but actually it is loading something and then you kill it, you will lose everything. So it does not ask, it does not save, it just kills it brutally. So take care of this uh, with this command. Okay, so this is the possibilities and uh, one may, maybe one such uh, addition at this point. So you already know this uh, cursor keys if I press upwards and down and if I up, press up and then press left or right, I can navigate within the the commands. This is very, very handy because I know a lot of people are afraid of the terminal because they think they have to remember all the commands. Forget it. I don't know all the commands myself. You have, you can Google them. You can watch the video. I will post all the commands in the description so you can copy them out into text file and print them and use the cheat sheet. But what I usually use, because with this up and down, you have to go through all the commands one by one. And what if you ha had a command, a special command two days ago, and you don't want to go up and then look uh, through 2000 commands that you, that you uh, executed since then, you can press Control R. So this is reverse search. And then, for example, I want to search. I know it was something with fire. Was it Firefox or Fireman? I don't remember. Or Firefire. I don't know. It was something that, that command was called fire. So I type in F. Ah, and already with F, I find something and then type fire. And now, as you see, the Firefox command comes up. And if you have multiple commands with fire something, you can type in fire and then press Control R and it will go through all the commands that you executed uh, with, with these four letters fire. And then you can just press right which uh, on the cursor key right which brings it into the terminal and then you can execute firefox in this case and your command which you are <clears throat> which you ran in the background okay so these were the, the the commands that i wanted to show you in this video how you can stop uh, applications especially crashed applications and how you can um, go over your older commands and also find commands in the past. Okay, so with that, I hope that you liked this video and that you will watch all the videos coming up. I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you in the next